to Roth or not to Roth? That is the question we are diving in in today's Money Matters Monday segment sponsored by the Belger Financial Group. Joining me is Greg Belger. He is the president of the Belger Financial Group, and he is here to help us decide if converting your accounts to Roth can or cannot benefit you in retirement and how best to decide what works for you. Greg, thanks so much for being here with us today. Thanks for having me again. Of course, and this is a question that a lot of people actually have. When it comes to using Roth conversions, it really does start with the potential tax impact, right? It does, it does. It's all about the tax impact. Uh, this is a quick potential tax impact we talk about. And we talk about Roth IRAs, the only thing that's important is if you believe taxes are going up in the future, then you definitely should be trying to get some of that qualified money in your 401k, 403b, 457 plan, or your TSPs converted to Roth. So on screen, we talk about this in our workshop, some of the potential impacts uh, on qualified accounts. And those are some of the accounts we talked about right now. We'll use the value of $150,000. Um, the total taxes on that qualified money that would have to be paid would be 44,772 over it, that time period. Now, once you pay the taxes, obviously you're going to reinvest that more than likely back into the account. So the money on the reinvestment, when you get to your required minimum distributions, which we all have to pay at age 72, that been bumped up from 70 and a half to 72, <laughs> it'll be 26,698. Now, when we pass any qualified accounts we have, I always ask clients, do you want to leave your family tax-free money or would you like to leave them a tax burden? Well, if you have a qualified account on 150,000, the total tax that have to be paid on that is 58,000, 549, and that's the total taxes on 130,000 over a lifetime on that 150 grand. If you do not convert and you just allow that money to continue to stay tax deferred. So if you look at the Roth section, the difference with the Roth is you pay your taxes up front. Once you pay your taxes up front to the IRS, you don't pay any taxes on that growth. So on 150 grand, the example is you'll pay up $30,000, but on all the growth of that account, you pay zero. Upon death, you pay zero, uh, so you have a choice. You pay. It's a win. It's a win. It's Almost a win. Almost a hundred thousand dollars in savings on taxes that instead of paying the government, you get to keep for yourself. Keep for yourself and your family. Yes. I love that. What are four key questions to <clears throat> think about when deciding if a Roth conversion is actually right for our viewers at home when it comes to retirement? All right. So some main things you want to consider when you have a Roth IRA, if you should convert, if you shouldn't convert. So do you want to leave tax-free legacy to your heirs, your family, your kids, your spouse? Yes. I think we can all agree, <laughs> yes. Uh, can you wait five years to withdraw? In most cases, you start converting early and often. There's a little bit of a waiting period there regardless of age. Uh, and if you believe taxes will be more expensive in the future, then obviously you should convert now. And if you have the funds to pay taxes upon conversion, Pay them now or you can pay them later. Those are your two choices. Uncle Sam is going to get their money. They're going to get their money regardless. Yes. And I mean, let's really identify some of those conversion benefits. <clears throat> those are four questions to ask. But if you go ahead and do it, these are four things that you can really win when it comes to that conversion. Awesome, awesome. So some of the huge benefits of a Roth conversion, people talk about them, but they don't really know how to execute them safely. So when you're converting, I need everyone to understand there's no income limits to convert your IRA to a Roth. Sometimes people tend to think there's an income limit. Uh, there's no RMD. So for required minimum distributions, you do not have to pay those on your Roth accounts once converted. Uh, the earnings after the conversion grow tax uh, go, I'm sorry, grow tax-free for the rest of your life. And then there's no limit on the amount that can be converted. Some of us are confused thinking you can only convert X amount of dollars. Uh, the Uncle Sam says there's no limit, but if you're going to convert, you want to convert early and often. And you definitely want to seek out the help of a professional before doing so. Well, you are a professional that is absolutely helping people make it that right decision. But there are also other things that could potentially happen if you convert those Roth IRAs. These are things to consider, right? Yes, yes. Well, let's talk about some things. I don't think they're cons, but these are things you should know. So you're going to have a tax bill. As I said before, when you convert your money to a Roth, you're going to have to pay that money up front. There's no way around that. Uh, now, you may not benefit if your tax rate is in lower in the future, which, you know, I think it's safe to say the tax rate isn't going to be lower in the future. No. So <laughs> it's really not a bad thing. Now, you do have to wait. There is a waiting period to take those withdrawals. Uh, even if you're beyond 59 and a half, there's a little bit of time it has to cook. And it could push you in a higher tax bracket. It is very important 
before you do any conversion, again, that you consult with a tax professional and your advisor to make sure you're not being thrown into a higher tax bracket. So you want to do a little bit every year. You want to do it systematically as well. Well, awesome. Well, Greg, thank you so much. As you can see, Greg is a wealth of information, just a fountain overflowing with knowledge. And if you're realizing the potential of converting to a Roth or you want to learn more about how to make that Roth work for you, let Greg and his group sit down with you personally to take a look at the ways that they can bring about a solid and worry-free retirement. He can help you become successful. All you have to do is give him a call for a complimentary 15-minute consultation. That number is right there on your screen 314-328-1868 the number again is 314-328-1868 or you can find them online at belgerfinancialgroup.com this has been another edition of money matters monday with the president greg belger himself greg thanks so much for being here with us thanks for having me or so i'm going to our St. we'll be right back in a couple of minutes